Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be continuing the conversion of benzaldehyde to benzylic acid experiment. In part C of the experiment, we'll prepare benzylic acid using the benzyl product from part B. The benzylic acid will be prepared by causing the rearrangement of the alpha diketone benzyl. Let's get started. We will begin by adding approximately 0.1 grams of the benzyl product from part B to a three milliliter conical vial. The mass of benzyl that we will be using is 0.1063 grams. I've transferred the benzyl to the three milliliter conical vial and we will next add 0.3 milliliters of 95% ethanol and a spin vane to the conical vial and attach to an air condenser. We will then heat the mixture with an aluminum block at approximately 90 to 100 degrees Celsius with stirring until the benzyl has dissolved. After the benzyl has completely dissolved, we will next add 0.25 milliliters of 8.2 molar aqueous potassium hydroxide solution dropwise down through the air condenser using a nine inch pasture pipette. We will then gently boil the mixture while stirring for 15 minutes. After the heating period, we will lift the assembly from the aluminum block and allow it to cool for a few minutes. Once the assembly is cool enough to handle, we will detach the air condenser and use a pasture pipette to transfer the reaction mixture to a 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask and allow it to cool to room temperature. After cooled to room temperature, we will place the Erlenmeyer flask in an ice bath until crystallization is complete. After crystallization is complete, we will use vacuum filtration with a Hirsch funnel to collect the crystals. And we will use ice cold 95% ethanol to aid in the collection and washing of the crystal. After collecting and washing the crystals, we will next transfer the crystals to a weigh boat, which we will use to aid us in transferring the crystals to a new 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We will next add three milliliters of hot 70 degrees Celsius water to the crystals in the 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We will then stir the mixture until all of the solid crystals have dissolved. We will next add 0.5 milliliters of one molar hydrochloric acid dropwise to the solution with swirling. As the solution becomes acidic, solid benzylic acid will begin to precipitate. The final pH of the solution should be about two.
After the solution has cooled to room temperature, we will complete crystallization by placing the flask in an ice bath. After crystallization has completed, we will collect the benzylic acid crystals using vacuum filtration with a Hirsch funnel. We will use ice cold deionized water to aid in the transfer and washing of the benzylic acid crystals. While the benzylic acid continues to dry, we will pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.4425 grams. We will next collect the benzylic acid on the pre-weighed watch glass and then dry for several minutes in an 80 degrees Celsius oven. After drying, the mass of the pre-weighed watch glass and the benzylic acid is 35.5240 grams. We will now perform a melting point determination of benzylic acid. Okay, students, you can now determine the percent yield, the melting point, and analyze the IR spectrum of benzylic acid. This concludes the multi-step synthesis of benzylic acid starting from benzaldehyde experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.